Hey everyone, welcome back on the channel. Welcome back to another episode 3.1 video. Today we are taking a look at uh, Unknown Mine Awakening. Game is a uh, third person action adventure type of game as you can see on your screen. Developed in Unreal Engine but sadly this game does not have DLSS upscaler. So I am not being able to use the OptiScaler with frame generation because it does need DLSS to hook uh, as the current stage. Maybe in future uh, they have already released a version which hooks with XCSS but that version, version does not have frame generation. So yeah the frame generation version right now hooks up with the what do you say, DLSS only. So one thing I want to show you that uh, right now I'm playing on 1080p everything is on high and this game only has this FSR 2.2 upscaler like you can see in the setting it says upscaling quality and it only has uh, fsr 2.2 nothing else so that's why uh, it's not been able to hook with the optic killer and here it says uh, everything about the quality and presets so i'm not using the upscaler uh, because it uh, makes the game really bad i'm playing it on native 10 p high and uh, getting around uh, 80 fps and sometime it will drop to maybe higher 70s like 78 79 and uh, yeah you get the idea so yeah let's install the mod now without any delay all right uh, first we will be needing this zip this is gonna be the old mods this is not the optic killer mod so yeah you will see what i'm talking about i will show you how to do each and every steps so first i'm gonna open the folder after extracting the zip uh, i'm gonna copy everything and go to the installation directory of the game which is uh, here for me unknown 9 awakening after that uh, i have seen some people testing the mods like in here after opening the main game directory installation directory but this is not the folder where we paste the mod we want to go inside u9 binaries win64 and where the win64 shipping.ex is located we are going to paste it here after pasting uh, we will go inside dlss override folders and uh, we will double click on the enable signature override and click on yes and click on ok one thing you also want to make sure uh, you want to go to the search bar and type graphics and wait graphics and uh, click on this graphic setting and make sure this hags or hacks is turned on if it's not on then you need to turn it on and restart your pc once or the frame generation won't work so yeah uh, after that uh, we will do some more thing which is uh, we're gonna run this game and when the cmd window pops up we're gonna close that so yeah we're closing it after closing, uh, we will see uniscolorconfig.tml. So we need to edit some files. This is optional. This is not mandatory. Like if you want to switch upscaler from FSR to XCSS because uh, FSR is still give us, uh, giving some jagged edges and anti-aliasing. So yeah, we're going to use the FSR now. Uh, sorry, the XCSS now. So we're going to open this uh, with Notepad or Notepad++, whichever you want. And in here, uh, you will see upscaler at the top file. You don't need to scroll down or anywhere just at the top you will see this upscaler line so what you need to do is select this fsr 3.1 or just place it the cursor here and backspace press the backspace and delete fsr 3.1 and type xcss uh, why i'm typing this because xcss is a little bit better than fsr 3.1 it looks more uh, stable and then click on file and click on save now the modding has been done i'm now gonna open the game and uh, show you guys how we can activate the uh, frame generation and how much fps we are getting so yeah let's dive into the game now get discord nitro classic premium monthly or yearly in your own account starting at just 350 rupees or 4.5 us dollar all right uh, one thing i want to show you that this game does not have any uh, loading screen because whenever i click on this continue button the game just like lands in the pleasant section so yeah this is uh, pretty cool stuff uh, nothing groundbreaking but yeah i like it like you just press continue and the game just starts playing so yeah fps is still around the same because i have not activated the scaler from the setting so i'm gonna go to setting then visual and scroll down here 
scroll down more and from the upscaling quality i'm gonna set it to quality you can set anything you want balance performance whichever you want but i'm gonna set it to quality and now you can see my fps has boosted from 70 and 80 to 120 130 uh, also the cost fix is not very bad because i'm using xcss 1.3.1 which is uh, a pretty good up, uh, upscaler compared to fsr 3.1 or fsr 2.2 but uh, you can still see that the subtitle is a little bit flickering so sadly this game does not have dlss uh, so i cannot fix the hold or the subtitle flickering right now because the optiscaler does need the dlss to hook with uh you will have to make work with this one it's not anything game breaking like uh, yeah it's okay uh, you can see i'm moving the mouse very fast but still it's like uh, very little flickering so yeah uh it's nothing deal breaking so this will be it for this video now i'm gonna play the game maybe for one to two minutes just to show you guys how much uh, fps i'm getting and yeah now i'll see you guys in the next one if this helps you do subscribe to the channel uh join discord for more uh upcoming mods and everything and i'll see you guys in the next one so until then bye